Okay. Here we go. So what we're doing is why mainstream benchmarks are useless. We're just going through and making a list here. Um, yeah, no, what we have lots of time. Um, we're only we have an hour left. So, but this 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 part of the video I have to actually make so we can chop up for the YouTube channel because people really want to know this shit for some reason. Like, I guess because people can't people can't pull out what's wrong with this. Or you know what we could do? We could make it fun. What do you guys think is wrong with this? So I'll just I'll just blurt out the fucking answers. You know what I mean? Like, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with his testing methodology? No, it's not. It's not stock. It's far from stock. Um, he has 5.2 gigahertz there. He is using 3,200 megahertz RAM. Yeah, exactly. What the fuck is this shit, dude? You know what we should do? I should set my RAM to 3,200 and do a benchmark to see what kind of a difference that does. Let's do it once. You know. You know what? I let's let's fucking do it. Hang on. I want to show. I want to show just how much of a fucking difference that makes, dude. It's actually insane. Hang on. Uh, useless benchmarks. Ah, fuck. Just put that in the Discord too. Useless benchmarks. Okay, I'm gonna restart my computer here instead of 32 one. Oh no no wait. Yeah yeah. I'm gonna. And you know what? We should set. We should set. Oh, I've got an idea. Okay, 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 okay. You know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna set... I'm gonna set it at 5.4 gigahertz, and I'm going to leave the ring clock at 4 gigahertz. Because every single fucking tech tuber does that shit. Later, Newman. Hang on. You can't see my screen right now, but... 5.4... And then we're gonna go four zero on the ring. What a fucking shit show. 5.4, 4400. Okay, save exit, save and exit. Then what we'll do, we'll do a benchmark on like Tomb Raider or whatever. Then we'll go back and set it to 5.0 gigahertz on the ring and see what kind of a difference that makes. Never thought, I never thought about doing this for a fucking video before. Dude, 3200 megahertz RAM on anything is ass. How did that become a thing? Like, how did 3200 megahertz RAM become like the industry norm? It is the shittiest fucking RAM that you can buy on anything, dude. It's actual trash. Okay. Okay, just so you guys can see what my settings are here. Uh, Ida. Oh, don't need this. Exit, exit, quit, quit. Okay, where's my Ida? Okay, watch this. It is the cheapest, but come on, man, it's... Spend an extra ten dollars and get thirty six hundred or something. You know what I mean? So check this out. We're at five point four gigahertz, right? Four thousand ring clock, and then forty four hundred RAM. Dude, dude, I lost five gigabytes a second on my on my read speed. Holy shit! <laughs> Dude, it's just like my computer booting up is slower now, too. Such hot garbage, dude. So we went up five, five nanoseconds of latency. We... Dude. 42 minus 37. Five. We, so going... Going from four to five gigahertz of ring speed is five 
fucking nanoseconds of latency, dude. And 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 fucking and look look how fast my RAM is, dude. 4400 and we're getting 42 nanoseconds right now. Could you dude Okay, we're doing we're, we're, we're going deeper. We're going deeper. We're fucking going deeper. Oh my god, dude We are going fucking deeper ring is the uh, The Intel equivalent of fabric hang on someone just subscribed grease bastard. Thank you for subscribing my friend Welcome to the community Are you a new guy rhythm? Yeah, yeah, uh, hang on. Let me just restart my computer here. Okay, I'm gonna set my RAM to 3200. We're, we're not done. We're not fucking done here, boys. 3200, from 4400 to 3200. Watch what fucking happens. Okay, yeah, Rhythm, let me get your link. Okay, this link is for rhythm only. If anyone clicks on this link, they get banned. Rhythm, what's your um Discord name, my friend? R Rhythm, Rhythm. Uh, let's see here. Grease Bastard. I'll send you a link to Grease Bastard if you want to join the Discord. Uh, how did you find the channel, my friend? We're always doing weird shit like this. Yeah, Mesh only goes to 3.4 or whatever. Okay, you're good. Welcome to the Discord, my friend. Good humans in there. Very good humans. Yeah, but like, what what video on YouTube actually got you into like the content? I'm always I always like to I always like to fucking ask that shit most people just hate they're just like this guy's a fucking intel fanboy he doesn't know what he's talking about zen has to be faster the the all the other tech tubers are saying that zen is faster so this guy has to be wrong oh uh, humans will be humans my friend humans will be humans holy shit okay watch this watch this watch this Watch this 5.4 gigahertz on the core 4,000 ring 3200 Ram speed I just want to see what fucking happens here, dude Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah Oh, fuck This is actually higher than I thought it was to be honest I thought it was gonna go to like 43 or 42. This is not bad. That's fucking brutal, dude. We lost 20 gigabytes a second. We lost 20 gigabytes of bandwidth per second. Oh my god. Oh, uh, Grease Bastards, do you want a link to the Discord? Oh, this is still not bad. This is not bad, but what other chip has the same latency as this? Exactly the same latency as this. Wardy boy, why don't you let them know how much latency your fucking chip has? Wait, I think I have it. Oh, his is still a little bit slower, actually. You can, you can, okay. Um. Well, anyway, this, this still proves my point, though. Why? Why are fucking mainstream tech tubers benchmarking with this shit? What the fuck is this shit? Oh my god. What is this shit? Oh my god. I'm getting you a link here. One sec. Okay, this link is for grease bastards. Um, I did not watch his video, but I know the gist of it. Hang on, we'll get there. Um, the dark hero just has an EDC fucking uh, bug bug in it, doesn't it? No, 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 no. You missed the point. 
We lost 13 nanoseconds, 14 nanoseconds, 13. We lost 13 nanoseconds of speed going from 4,400, five gigahertz. So let's see here. So 51 divided by 37. Dude, we lost 38% latency speed on our Intel chip by doing this shit. We lost 38%. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I need to let that sink into people's fucking heads for a second, dude. When you go, when you go from 3200 megahertz RAM, someone just fucking, oh shit, JC just gifted a sub. Thanks, dude. My man, my man, that's the mod. Let me finish this point here. Now I'm not, now I'm like, I like lost my anger now because I got a sub. Fuck. Okay, hang on. 3200 megahertz to 44 megahertz and then 40 ring to 50 ring is 38% more performance. Not direct correlation performance, but that's how much latency and fucking speed you lost by doing this shit. This is what mainstream tech tubers bench on. It's a fucking, it's a joke, dude. It's a fucking joke. Let's do a benchmark and see what happens. It's an, abs it's an absolute fucking joke. We we benched it on uh, 3200s, low latency C14 RAM, low latency guys. It's C14 3200, like holy fuck. I'm like over here like fucking blowing my mind out, dude. I'm like, holy shit. I cannot look at these fucking benchmarks, dude. It's actually fucking insane. Okay, let's run a Tomb Raider. Hang on here. I think Tomb Raider would scale. Where's Tomb Raider? Here it is. Okay, let me catch up on the chat here. Grease Bastard, welcome to the Discord. Thank you so much for the Twitch subs, guys. I have so many red names in that uh, Discord now from all the Twitch subs. What a great way to fucking support your favorite content creator. Just like a Twitch sub, dude. Or a Prime sub. Um... You, do you love AMD? He's already- what the fuck? Dude, you don't even have your chip yet. You literally don't have your chip yet. You have no idea if it's gonna be good or if it's gonna be shit. You're just- you're just- you know what you're doing, JC? You're assuming- Hang on a second, monitor number one. You're assuming that because Linus said it was better, that it's going to be better. You're- you're Linusing it up, that's what you're doing. Well, I'm here to prove you wrong, my friend. That's what I'm here for. Okay, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Oh, shit. And it just closed. Okay, well. Gotta reopen it. Yeah, he's GNing GN it up. Linusing it up. Hardware unboxing it up. Just pick, pick your insert mainstream tech tuber. Insert Zen is God mode. And then J and then all arrows point to JC. <laughs> that's how that's how it fucking works, dude. That's literally how it works. Literally, he plays like fucking Minecraft in his basement, and then like talks about how his epic Zen is and shit. Ah, oh, wifey's here. Baby, where are you right now? Are you at your mom's house? Everyone say hi to Catnips. She's the wife. She's she is the oh dude. I have to show you guys. I have to show you guys a uh, if you go to my YouTube analytics and it's like um, percentage of viewers. It's like ninety nine point nine percent male and then it's like one female. I'm like ah, that's my wife. <laughs> one female. Okay, watch this. We're gonna go 50% resolution. 
Um, and 1080p high TAA sure run benchmark. Let's let's see what happens. Okay, 203 FPS. Uh, it depends, dude. It's I don't I don't like the whole Pokemane fucking getting thousands of dollars of subs just to have their name set on the screen. It's fucking weird, dude. Like you like only people that have money and actually wants to me to do some content for them should give me money. It shouldn't be like all that fucking whack whack publicity shit. 3240 ring was 203 FPS. Right? Let's go turn that shit back. Uh huh. Uh, Raider FPS. Hang on a second. We're almost there, boys. We're almost there. Afterburner. That's fine. So what did we set again? The RAM was set. Yeah, the RAM. Okay, okay. okay. So the RAM is 4400, 5.4. Where the ring is still at four. Let's let's see what happens here. got a little man pussy on you, don't ya? You got a tight little <laughs> man pussy on you, don't it's, ya? You know what's, you know what's, uh... It actually says man pussy on my, uh, on my Elgato stream deck. Like, the button itself, it says man pussy, so I know exactly... Like, you said the exact title of what my button is, dude. I never sub or pay anyone here, so feel special. Thanks, man. Of course. Every sub is special, dude. You're essentially telling the person that I want you to succeed by giving you more money. Like, like, in, um, you're, you're like, you're telling the creator, I don't even know how you put it, like, use this money and go forth and do the world proper justice. That's how I think about it kind of thing, right? Um... Oh, I didn't write down the, the previous latency. The latency here was 50 nanoseconds, wasn't it? 50.3 nanoseconds. Uh, this one was 50.3. That's, that's what it was, right, guys? Right? And then this one. So leaving the ring alone and increasing the RAM speed got it to 42. So not bad. So definitely RAM is the first place you want to go for a performance bump, though. Holy shit. Um, 4,400 megahertz RAM was 41.7 nanoseconds. Let's run Tomb Raider and see what happens. Clowns and fanboys and jokesters. Anonymous tip $2. Thanks so much, dude. I really appreciate it. The anonymous. <laughs> he just wanted to erase butts. Just not have butts on it. Just anything but butts. What did we get here? It was 228, 203 before. We got 25 FPS from that RAM change. What's up, dark side? Um, let's see, 228. One sec, one sec, one sec, 228. I don't want to forget. 228, 228, 228. So, hang on, Tomb Raider. This was 4,400 megahertz RAM with 40 ring, 228 FPS. So, how much is that? Hang on a second. 228 divided by 203. 12%. Darkside just subscribed. Dude, thanks so much for subbing. Holy shit. Um. <laughs> Dude, it's, you know what? You know what I'll do for fun? 
Oh my god, dude. You know what I'll do? For it doesn't even tell me who did it either. I could literally be anybody, and I literally have no fucking clue who's donating. You know what I'll do, though? Hang on, Dark Side. Let me give you a button, though. I'll give you a button. Um, you seem like an emperor kind of man to me. Good. 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 Uh, hang on. Dark Side, are you in the Discord yet? I can give you a link. Um... You know what I'll do for fun? I'll make the I'll make the donation minimum like 25 cents or something just so people can throw comments in. That'd be a lot of fun. And just to see what people can actually like and like it like that way no one goes broke doing it and it would just be fun. I'll do that for the next stream guys. I'll make it so it's 25 cents for a donation minimum just so you can get a comment in there. That'd be really fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, don't don't put JC's mom anymore. He's gonna go broke getting rid of that shit, dude. Don't do it. I, I don't want, like, we don't know if he has a bad relationship with his mom or something. You know what I mean? I don't know. Hang on. That's hilarious. Fuck. Uh, I forgot what I was gonna say now. Yes. Do you remember, thirty-two hundred and forty ring, was like. Oh, it was 47, not 43. Never mind. Okay, so we actually almost got like two gigabytes a second by just increasing the ring to five gigahertz. Latency went down three. 48.8 nanoseconds. Let's see what the FPS says here. File save. Hang on a second, where's Tomb Raider? Saturday stream That'll be so much fun, dude. That would make the stream so engaging too that you, you like like a viewer Can make something pop up on the screen so everybody can see it. That'd be so cool, dude That should be a free feature actually. Why isn't that free? Uh, I guess it would get out of hand if it was free then You'd have trolls like putting like dicks and stuff and profanity up, right? 213 so not as much as the RAM 213 213 213 fps so let's let me calculate this hang on calculator oh shit so the 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 RAM is definitely, but the ring the ring is a free thing that you can set too, right? Hang on. Two thirteen divided by two zero three, five percent. So now, do you think that if we add these two together, will we get 17 per like, will this scale linearly? Like, will they just like add on top of each other? What do you guys think? Well, the ring, the ring literally just got us 5% by punching it into the BIOS and doing nothing else. Do you know what I mean? So it might not be a bottleneck. Like, you know what? Let's see though, let's see. Uh, the the fact that the fact that uh, benchmarkers benchmark on this shit is fucking ridiculous though, dude. Because like, like, e just think about it for a second. If gamers if gamers Nexus's benchmarks are like five point two gigahertz, and forty ring, and thirty two megahertz RAM, and he's getting this shit. What if, what if like, uh, uh, what if one of his Ryzen 5000 chips is like 5% ahead? Then on that graph, it would show as Zen being number one. If he just did this, it would be a tie. And the Intel chip wouldn't look so bad to all the commoners. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, man. I, why aren't they doing this? Let's see if it scales. Let's see what happens. Oh shit, cancel. File save. Let's now I'm gonna put it back to 44 and 50 ring and let's see what happens. YouTubers need to start doing best case test along. That would just take too long though. So 
what what GN has said is uh, he actually got asked why he uses 3200 megahertz RAM. And he was like, he was like, I'm pretty sure this is because I have IQ open, but I had, I had IQ open for all of these, so I'm going to leave it open just to keep it consistent. Um, 38.9 nanoseconds. Okay, let's see what Tomb Raider does, boys. So he got asked why he uses 3200 megahertz RAM, and he said... It's because Zen 1, like Zen Plus, or the Ryzen 2000, the fat, yeah, exactly, it works on everything. So he said that all of his numbers have been going back since that long ago, and he has to keep using that, that RAM, or else he literally needs to go back and redo, like, years of fucking benchmarks. And to, to expect him to do that is actually unreasonable. And also, expecting him to add... So, like, so, you can't expect the guy to use, like, 4,000 and 3,200. That's essentially doubling his workload. He's You can't just, like, snap your fingers and double the guy's workload. He needs to actually just, like, make a choice one day. Like, maybe, like, January 1st of, like, like today... All previous numbers are gone because like those like the, the, the 3200 megahertz RAM numbers are no longer applicable anymore like like people like like 4000 megahertz RAM is way too cheap now for people to be buying 3200 anymore do you know what I mean like you can buy a fucking Viper 4000 kit for like 70 80 dollars dude B die like no one should be buying 3200. Like, nobody, dude. Uh... See, the problem is, though, yeah, it, it does make his previous numbers all consistent, but it makes his new numbers completely worthless. Like, it actually makes... It makes his Zen 3 and, uh, and Intel numbers, like this Gen, 10th Gen, 9th Gen and Zen 3, it makes all of those numbers completely fucking worthless. Completely worthless. Because you're you're maxing out a Zen Plus, but you're not maxing out a Zen 3. You know what I mean? What is this? 245 divided by 203. 21%. What do you see wrong with this calculation, boys? Eh? What do you, what, what's, what, what's wrong with the fucking math here, boys? This doesn't make any fucking sense, does it? Come on now. I'm waiting for someone to, to say I'm, I was right. Waiting for somebody to say... How does that make any fucking sense? I thought... I thought the ring wasn't bottlenecking it. I thought... I thought the RAM wasn't bottlenecking it. It compounds. They... They... All of these... Yeah. Every single, every single thing that you add on an Intel system compounds on itself. It's, it's, you, you can't, and every single tech tube or mainstream one does one or the other. They don't do both. So the Intel chip never gets a chance to compound on itself. If, if you're increasing the ring to 50, it can it can access the memory faster the faster ram can get back to the ring faster it can feed the cores faster it's not rocket science i don't understand why people can't figure this fucking shit out dude it's ridiculous it's actually fucking ridiculous no 
four gigahertz ring, bro. Out of the box, bro. We literally got, we took a 10 900K and these are all at 5.4 gigahertz. All the, all the benchmark numbers here. So, all core. Not even changing. All we did was ring and memory. And we got 21% speed increase. So when Zen 3 got announced, and, I'm, and I was like, they're gonna lose. This is what I was seeing. Nobody else sees this shit. I'm like, I'm like, you can take all of those Intel numbers and add 30% to them. And that's what it can really do. Like, 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 you can, dude, you can literally go to GN's numbers. Hang on a second. Watch this. This is fucking ridiculous, dude. I'm, I'm totally putting this up on YouTube after. This is a fucking shit show. Um, actual fucking shit show. Hang on, gamers. And it won't scale linearly with every game, just like uh, Division 2. You won't get 30% out of that. But like, like, like Tomb Raider is a really good case scenario for, for scaling of any sort. But... Um, Let's just, let's just pick a game. A game where AMD wins. This one. Let's take his stock 10900K numbers. And let's add a 20. We will, okay, you know what we can do? So his is at 5.2. Let's add 21% onto this. 194 times 1.21. It destroys the fucking AMD chip, dude annihilates it like come on man come on you can't do this shit dude can't do that like it's fucking this this is why it's completely fucking useless i i put it to 5.4 last night when i was testing all those uh per core uh all that per core shit i i used to be when i when i did that video uh, when I did the uh, Russian guy comparison video, I was at 5.34300. And then uh, last night when I was doing that per, per core overclocking thing, I bumped it up to 5.44400. Um, yeah, dude, like, the, like let, let's, let's, let's go to a different one here. Let's try Kingdoms. Division 2, I'm not winning that one anyway. Actually, I can beat this guy's number, but um, the Russian guy got like 278 FPS. I can't get there with, a div with the Division 2. Tomb Raider. These are weak sauce number. Look at this. Look at this. 1080p medium. Dude, I'm getting 50 fucking FPS more than this. Four, I'm getting 47 more FPS. Let that sink in for a fucking second, dude. These numbers are useless. They're actually completely useless, dude. Anyone, anyone that it, oh man, it's fucking rough, dude. How do you explain that to people? Check this out. So let's take the, let's take 325 times 21%. 40 more FPS, 35 more FPS than the uh, AMD chip. And this is 4.7 all core. But also keep in mind that he's using shitty RAM on the AMD chip too, so this would actually get bumped up another 10% or whatever. But still, man, Intel wins. You know what I mean? That, yeah, well, that's, that's the whole argument though. The masses are gonna fucking run dog shit RAM, you know what I mean? But that's not why we're here though. We're we're interested in how to make our shit the fastest, right? But if you just look at this though, literally we just tested this in the last like hour just doing this and look at that, dude. That's fucking insane. That's insane, dude. J if you do just one of these or if you do both. 
and then imagine the Pell tier when I get it or whatever. 5.5, baby. You know what I mean? And when I get my fucking uh, Ram water block. Ho, 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 baby. I'm going to be up to fucking here, dude. Just wait. Just wait, dude. There is no fucking way in hell that a Zen 3 chip is going to beat this. Not a fucking chance, dude. I know this is pretty extreme, though. I'm, I'm pretty much... I'm pretty much peltier cooling and water cooling my RAM to do this, but the point still stands. Let's say... Let's say if you just did like a 5.2 gigahertz 4133 C17 and then maybe like a 49 ring. Dude, that's still huge. That's fucking massive, dude. This still will destroy Zen into the fucking ground, dude. Most channels don't play games. Yeah, they don't. Most all tech channels do not play games, dude. Actually, you know who does play games? Paul's Hardware. I used to always watch Paul and Bitwit uh, in their stream every Tuesday or whatever. And uh, Paul would always play Overwatch in the uh, after party or whatever. And I would always watch that shit because I'm like, he's playing Overwatch. He actually enjoys playing. He sucks balls at it. He's like fucking terrible. But he actually enjoys playing Overwatch, dude. I can totally respect that. It's not that you suck at it. It's just that you enjoy playing a game. And it's so rare in the tech industry, dude. Nobody actually enjoys playing a fucking game. Everyone just likes running those stupid numbers in their benchmarks, dude.